last question I have for you is the first time, I think, in Rebney's history, I saw that it was black tie optional. What's that about? Um, it's an opportunity for us to explore ways to make the event a little bit more accessible. We heard from a lot of the members that um, a black tie requirement is a bit burdensome, and so we wanted to take a chance to see whether or not people enjoyed not having to get dressed up in black tie, and if people don't like it, we'll go back. But um, we're, we're going to try something a little bit new this night. Rebney has been evolving quite a bit, right? I saw, I noticed that there's been a lot of activity now in Brooklyn and in Queens. Queens has been a big push for you guys, That's and you said something about Bronx being the next frontier. Could you talk a little bit about that? Well, I think the Bronx is an opportunity. It has uh, lower land prices. It's got a great transportation infrastructure. And I know both the borough president and the speaker are very pro-development. And so we want to encourage people to look to the Bronx. I think it's a great opportunity. Has everything been resolved in terms of 420? What's the what's the missing picture? What's the missing piece right now? Uh, so we have uh, negotiated a piece of legislation um, with the governor's leadership. We want to thank him for uh, getting us to this point. As you said, it was a long road. We could not have gotten here without the governor, um, but I also want to make sure I thank Gary LaBarber and his team. Um, it really was a collaborative effort. We are on the cusp of passing 421A, so as soon as the budget gets passed, 421A will be passed, and then we'll be on to some other legislative initiatives as we move forward. Did you guys push for a special session to get this resolved earlier at all? We certainly would have um, uh, been up for a special session. Right. There were some issues that were outstanding that we were still ne um, negotiating language, not terms, but the language and that took time um, so it really didn't hurt us it took us an extra two weeks to get done but we would if they had said be ready for special session we would have been ready and just zooming out a little bit from the state landscape federal obviously there's been a major surprise in terms of the presidential election what do you think a presidency a trump presidency will mean for new york's real estate market any, any sort of big picture thoughts on that? Well, the one thing we have is a president who understands real estate in New York, and that can only be a positive thing. So we're very optimistic about the president-elect's um, view of real estate and how important it is to the economy, and we're hopeful that we'll continue to be able to deliver that message to him.